Hi, I'm Jamie Andreas from GuitarPrinciples.com. Thank you for watching this video. I'm very excited to tell you about my Bar Chord Mastery course. I created this course after 40 years of teaching bar chords to thousands of students and analyzing all the reasons why people have so much trouble doing bar chords. One thing I really want you to know is that my course is unlike anything you've seen on the subject of learning bar chords. The usual instruction on bar chords is someone showing you a bunch of chord diagrams of where to put your fingers, or I should say, try to put your fingers, and then someone who's been playing bar chords for a long time will demonstrate them and show you how easy they are. Yes, easy for them, but when you try it, you feel like your hand is being twisted into a pretzel and you wonder if you'll ever be able to do them. My course is very different. I know all the muscles in the hand and arm and upper body that must be trained very carefully for stretch, strength, and independence before bar chords are easy to get into and easy to change from one to another. My Bar Chord Mastery course gives you special exercises to build your hand into the highly skilled tool you need to be able to play bar chords as easily as the pros do. So let's take a look. Yes, bar chords are easy once you're already able to do them. But getting the hand to the point of development on the guitar where they're able to be done easily is the real secret. That's why the first five exercises of Bar Chord Mastery very carefully introduce your hand to the essential aspects of good barring technique. The most important task to accomplish in the beginning is placing the bar finger without causing excess tension in the other fingers, as well as the forearm, arm, neck, and shoulder. This excess tension is the number one cause of difficulty in playing bars, and it begins with your very first attempt at bar chords. Without fail, a guitar student will place the bar and then tense every other finger, even squeezing the second finger on top of the bar finger in a misguided attempt to help the bar finger out. This is absolutely the wrong approach. The first five exercises in Bar Chord Mastery will train your hands so that the non-barring fingers remain relaxed, separate from the bar finger, and ready to play other notes, which they always have to do. To help you do the exercises with full effectiveness, I explain in great detail what your goals are as you do them, what to avoid and what to achieve. Detailed text directions accompany each video for maximum learning. Finger lightness as well as relaxed functioning of the whole arm and hand is cultivated with each exercise and each exercise builds on the one before it. By the time we get to exercise six, we're ready for our first real bar chord, the full six string root major chord. In Bar Chord Mastery Part Two, we go on to study and develop all the different types of bars used on guitar. First, we learn to use the joints in very precise ways, the way professional guitar players do that makes it easy to play all the different types of bars. So we study the flat bar, the curved bar, the five string bar, and the four string bar, the three string bar. We also learn all the common chords that use these types of bars and you're going to come across them in all the music you play, especially as you get into the more advanced music for guitar. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you take advantage of this one-of-a-kind opportunity to get the kind of training you really need to master all bar chords on guitar with Bar Chord Mastery.